made my morning coffee. I used that coffee from Italy that I just bought. I like it. Um, the only thing is that my taste buds are still a little confused with coffee because of COVID. I don't know if, oh, I think Taylor did put that in a vlog, but we're having like taste distortion still because of COVID, but it's okay. <laughs> Today I am going to go on an early morning walk. I actually got 10 hours of sleep last night. This past weekend, I was in Philadelphia with Johnny. So I needed to get caught up on my sleep last night and just got back and I'm gonna get back into my daily routine of walking in the mornings and then I like to do a sunset walk and no phone in the morning for an hour, no phone in the morning before, or at the night before, one hour at night before I go to bed and um, exercising, healthy eating, um, and I just need to rest. Actually, I have not officially finished finals yet. I still have one paper and some reading to do, so I need to finish the paper and the reading, and then I will be free from school. So that's what the schedule looks like today. I wanna to thank you personally um, for just com all the comments, all the sweet, um, beautiful comments that you guys write. We love you so much and we read the comments and they just, we love you. You guys feel like a family to us and that's one of the reasons why we love Vlogmas is because we get to interact with you guys more and that just fills our heart with joy. So I finished eating breakfast and I'm up in my room and I'm looking at the comments on this video. I just want to say thank you so much for just all the amazing comments. I really tried to get back to a lot of you guys on here and I love you guys so much. I love all your comments. They're just so, so sweet. So yeah, I'm so thankful for you guys. Also, my hair looks nuts out right now, but yeah. Um, so right now, what I'm going to be doing is um, working on that paper. You guys are probably like, wow, how long is she gonna be working on that paper for? But this weekend I traveled to Philadelphia for four days, so I didn't do much. And he actually is gonna let us turn it in till the 21st of December. So that's why I'm like, I just wanna get it done now. Um, I'm gonna get that, work on that, and then also work on a coffee and Bible time video and yeah so just kind of a work day vlog okay guys so this morning when i had my quiet time and i was going on a walk um i was actually really convicted for the way i was treating johnny in certain ways that weren't like kind and <clears throat> like i kind of realized that in the moment when I wasn't being kind, but I didn't really say anything and I didn't apologize. Um, but then today when I was praying and I was having my quiet time, I was like, that wasn't kind of me and that wasn't nice. And um, yeah, I don't know. I was just like convicted that I said sorry to God, but then I was like, you know, I need to say sorry to him too because um, I just want to make things right and it's just something small it's not something huge but <clears throat> the reason I'm saying this here today is because it's hard to apologize to someone it's hard to say I'm sorry for this because of our pride and because of our hearts and our sinful nature that um, just doesn't even want to admit that we did something wrong and doesn't want to like humble ourselves to say sorry um, and I'm feeling that right now, <laughs> literally. But 
I think that it's um, something that as a believer we should push through and we should say, you know what, no, I do feel like I should say sorry to this person and you should listen to the Holy Spirit as he nudges you to say you're sorry and to apologize and to humble yourself because I think at the end of the day, it will make the relationship stronger. And so anyways, that's what I'm gonna do right now. I'm gonna call up Johnny and I'm gonna tell him I'm sorry. And um, yeah, just kind of fight that prideful, sinful nature heart that I have. Um, and so I wanna encourage you today, if you have anyone that you need to say you're sorry to, or that you just realize that um, maybe I wasn't treating them the best or I wasn't being the kindest to them or um, I didn't love them the best way I could. Um, maybe you need to give them a call or write them a letter or even just see them in person if they're a family member and just say you're sorry. So that's my encouragement to you today. Um, sorry if it kind of <laughs> nudges you to do something that you've been avoiding, but... <clears throat> I think it's good i think it strengthens relationships at the end of the day so i'll let you guys know how it goes i just called him um really good really good um yeah i would just encourage you to say sorry or apologize to anyone if you feel like you need to because it's worth it and i think it actually bonds two people together more than if you just stayed in your state of pride and said, no, I'm not going to say I'm sorry. So I think what it ends up doing is this rather than keeping you at a odds. So yeah, I'm actually right now getting on my workout clothes for CrossFit. I will try to get some footage of working out. We'll see how that goes. The workouts are insane. So we will see how it goes. But I will try to get some footage, and yeah, I love you guys, and I'll see you soon. Yes, I feel like a wet noodle. I'm going to teach you guys how to make a protein frappuccino. So here we go. So I just have a cup of ice right here and I'm going to put it under the coffee machine. I'm making one for three people, so I'll be making a lot. So the next thing I add is a banana, but since I'm making this for three people, I'm gonna add three bananas. putting in three scoops of protein powder. This is the Vega protein powder. I'll have it linked in the description. We really like it. It tastes like vanilla. 
Also, I did three shots of coffee. This is a juicer that I just bought. I invested in this puppy um, for health. It was not cheap. And I've been waiting a long time to see like, oh, is it worth it? And I think I came to the conclusion that it was worth it to invest in it because I think it's an appliance that will last me my entire life. I don't know what it is about me and kitchen appliances. I just, I, I, I just love them. I also add some almond milk to it. Do you like it? This thing right here. This is worthy of selling at a cafe. Really? In the city. For like eight bucks. <laughs> Yay. Today for lunch, we are doing veggie bowls. Mm -hmm. I'm editing the vlog for today. Show us your bowl, yum. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I'm just getting some editing done. Um, and then after this, I will try to work on my paper because I actually haven't done that yet today and it's already two o'clock. So, uh, yeah, just grinding away. Yes, I'm currently opening up my indulgent passion. A juice. <laughs> Which should aid in health promoting PR box, but wow! I, just, I mean, they really did a good job. That's insane. I mean, I guess if you're spending a lot of money, they can they can they spend can money on the packaging on a cardboard box. Yes. the vlog out here today for my hair I tried out this product for the very first time it's the cake product I really really love how my hair turned out with this I just put it on I did not diffuse it or anything I just let it air dry my favorite thing about this is the smell by far this is not sponsored by the way I just picked this up at Walgreens I'll have it linked in the description if you want to check it out but yeah I really like it I enjoyed it um what was I going to say? Yeah, Taylor's juicer. She hasn't tried it out yet, but I'm sure in a coming up vlog, you will see her use that juicer. I hope this video is an encouragement to you guys today. I love you and thank you for joining us for your vlogmas.